Yeah, my name's Scotty Burns. I'm Rick. We're trying to come up with a solution. How to get the oil out of the Gulf. To um, save our kids and our grandkids and our great-grandkids. This from, is a uh, year 2010 and we just had a huge oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. And this is our containment methods. Presentation. That's one of the oil rigs that has recently uh, been leaking and it has not been stopped. It's almost been, what, three months? That's Two a months. representative map. This here is the spill area is representing. This be, of course, Florida. You got St. Pete, Tampa Bay. Everglades. This be the Everglades and here's our reef area. You got Cuba and Cancun. That's also going to be the affected. rest of the Gulf here. Let's do Cuba like this. There you go. It's Cuba. You got Cuba. So the the problem is, is this thing's been spewing millions of gallons, and they don't seem to know what to do with it. We're not sure either, but we know one thing: is we got to contain it, or we're going to take out everything. So my brother here, genius that he is come up with a simpleton idea and I think it's one of the best ideas I've seen. Go ahead Scott. Alright, this being the oil where the oil's at right now. This right here is a, a inlet that was a man-made inlet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make an inlet. Well the government's gonna make it. We're not seeking any profits off this. We're just simply trying to stop it. This is gonna be a canal going into a holding area and which time on high tide it will suck the oil in and water and it'll suck it into this reservoir now we'll dig a big deep deep containment uh, ditch and and lake matting at the bottom with uh, they have matting that they put down for, for lakes it's a called rubber lining to so it won't get on our aquifer and of course where the, the diamonds are that's going to be where you can retrieve the, the crude oil out on high tide um, and it's natural it's going to suck the wa the water in just like it happened in Sebastian Inlet that's a man-made inlet let, let, let nature do the work for you we're going to dynamite it the uh, high tide it's going to suck it through on on when it's outgoing tide we're going to have a lock system that we're going to shut it down it might take three days to take all this oil out but we won't open it back up for three days we will take the all the oil, the, the oil out, try to retrieve the water, what we can, and then when we've got it down, open it back up on high tide again, let it push back in. At this point, these are our, our buoys, which are, are uh, they're called, uh, what are they called? Like a protective chain. Yeah, a protective chain, which I think... Uh, floating buoys, and is right here, what we're looking at is something that goes like 20 foot down, and maybe 10 foot above with a couple of floating uh, pontoons and they they connect jointly here with some kind of a will make a, like a, an interlocking mesh hinge and basically we just we keep producing them and tying them together and linking them out there till we basically surround and capture the spill zone and we want to keep all the wells that are still currently out there inside the same zone. Once we get it all locked in, we can just start cinching it in, tightening it up. And fueling the oil. And giving us most of our, here. our gulf back while containing this in an area that will still, on high tide, feed into our containment basin. All at the same time, these tankers can be coming in here and sucking it out the way they're doing it currently but I think we're gonna make a lot more groundage keep going this way we'll get a lot further and then if there is another break in the future it'll still be in this protective zone which protects our reefs our state other states and basically I mean everyone it's a win-win situation we get BP to take over with the money I think we need someone to look over BP and the rest of them because this is this can't happen again. We can't do this. This is like uh, Scott here is coined. We're not talking historical. We're talking biblical here. And if you look at this right here on this chart, if we stop it right here, we save at least half of our West Coast. 
we're going to save our Everglades, yes. and we're going to save our Keys. Yes. That's basically what Florida's all about, is our coast, our Everglades, and our Keys. So we want to save all of this right here. Absolutely. And if we can do it before Tampa, that would be that would be great. Right mm -hmm. now they're saying in Pensacola they're getting traces of oil. It hasn't even hit the... The furthest up we can go, the better off we are. If we can do it on this side of the Swanee, let's do it. If we have to forfeit the Swanee, then we have to do it. But we have to save what we can at this time. If not, we're done. That's we it. might as well leave. Start Pack up our belongings and go. We're not willing to give up like BP. We're ready to go. Look at it. Tell us what you think. This is our state. We live here. We ain't looking to run. This is from the Burns family. And the way things move, that if you see how Florida, how we have Florida mapped out here, and you see the oil spill, it's still spewing out oil. And the more it spews out, the bigger the whole mass is going to get. That'll affect Cuba, it'll affect Mexico, Texas, and Eventually all that. the whole the world. East Coast, okay. all the way up to North Carolina, in which case it's going to start branching off. Because that's where the Gulf Stream starts branching off and going different directions. Once it gets to Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, our Gulf Stream goes in several different directions. If that happens, that's world we'll, catastrophic. That's, that's ca and we have we have a current that this is Florida. Once we get way up here, further up into North America, we have a current that goes all the way over to England and the British area. So absolutely, Britain will pay for Britain Petroleum. And this is called the Loop, the Loop Current. That's better known as the Gulf Stream. This is where it's going. It goes like this. It goes around. It actually goes around the Cuba. It goes around the Bahamas and it also goes in front. There's a Gulf Stream in between us and the Bahamas. There's a Gulf Stream that's actually outside of the Bahamas. We have got to try to get it on the West Coast. Hopefully before St. Pete. Hopefully before Tampa. Hopefully before the Swanee. But we've got to do something and we got to do it fast. We need to start right like today. My solution is Right there. Self-containment unit, man-made inlet into a, a holding reservoir, and then they can pump all the oil back they want out of our reservoir. We built the uh, Panama Canal. We can definitely build this. To contact us, call 407-592-4740. 407-592-4740. It's not too late. Let's start today. It's the Burns family. We care. Stand up for the cleanup. Amen. Hey.